Hey guys, welcome to your 14th video in this series and in this video I'm going to show you how we can use switch statements in Java. So let's get started. Now, basically in the previous video, we kind of learned about the loops, which are the for loops and we have also completed about the loops. Now we're not going to dive into that. This is not a uh, part of loops. This is a part of if statement. Now, basically, we compare switch statements and if statements. Now, the reason we do like that is because switch statements and if statements are used for similar things. We do similar things with switch statements and if statements. What is the reason and why? Now, switch statements are also used for making conditions. Now, also, I want to tell you one thing that switch statements are far more better than if statements. Now, the reason is because if you want to make so many conditions, you need to stack up those if statements, else if, like that. But in case of switch statements, you don't need to make multiple switch statements. You just need to make uh, one switch statement and you need to make something called case. Now, a case works like a condition, but in case of a switch statement. So let's go ahead and understand this switch statement with an example. Now what I want to do is I want to take the input from the user and I want to create some conditions using the switch statement. If the user's input choice is met with my condition, I'm going to print something in the console window. So I'm going to say int num, let's go ahead and do that. And I will say sys out and then I will say that enter a number like that. And I will say scanner, scan equals new scanner and we will pass in system.in. Now make sure you import java.util.scanner, don't import other packages. And we will say num equals scan.next uh, int. So we have did the regular setup. Now comes the switch statement. In order to create that, what we need to do is we say switch parentheses and these curly braces inside of the parenthesis is what we pass the expression the expression can be a variable for example let's pass in num so if the conditions that we made inside of this uh, switch statement met with the input that is stored in this num is going to print out something in the console window so let's go ahead and create the cases in order to do that we can say case and you see that when i type in case it's going to auto indent now what I can do is I can put in a number after the keyword case I can go ahead and say 90 that means if the user inputs the number 90 what we can do is we can print out something in the console window so we're going to put case and the number or string since it's an integer we're going to put an integer and then make sure you put this colon now whenever I press enter it's going to auto indent that means this colon is going to auto indent so when i press enter like in python is going to give some four spaces to the right like that so we can go ahead and say sys out i will say the number uh, is and we can pass it 90 and now i can go ahead and copy this and do the same time so let's go ahead and do that i'm doing that for two times only only three times so i did a couple of more times now I'm going to change it to let's say 45 and this to 30 now we should not make the same switch statements because when we do that in this particular cases when we do the same cases what it does is it's going to show us an error and it's going to show us an exception so that's why you should change the cases after we make other cases like that and then we can go ahead and say the number is 45 and this number is 30 and now what we're going to do is we can create another uh, case which is known as the default case so what this default case does is it's going to go ahead and when all of the cases doesn't met with this user input it's going to print out whatever that is inside of this default so i'm going to say the number is null now what happens is really is nothing but when none of these cases are met or not met then it's going to go to this default case and it's going to print out whatever text that is in default case. So it's like the else condition you just need to compare if and 
if else statements else statements with this with statements so it's going to become even more easier these are like the else and uh, these like if and if else statements this is like the else statement which means whenever these conditions are not met is going to directly go ahead and print this text out now let's go ahead and print or run this program and now you should see an error when i type in 90 like an input you see that it's going to go ahead and print out the number is 90 the number is 45 and so on now why it's not showing only the number is 90 but why it's showing all of these things now the reason it's doing like that is because it doesn't break out of this particular case what i mean is since this particular case became true because we have entered 90 it didn't break out of this case since it became true so what we need to do is we need to go ahead and put a break keyword after each case so that after the condition or the case becomes true it's going to break out of the uh, case now we don't need to put the break in this default section because there is no required this is like the else block so let's go ahead and run and now when I type in 90, it's going to show us the number is 90. When I type in again, let's say 22, it will show us the number is null because the number is not found. So in this way, we can easily use switch statements in Java. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe my channel and I will see you in the next video.